lot of people ask me about my writing process and basically I always outline when I write by myself. I always know the beginning and the end and then obviously it's my job to fill in the middle. And I use what's called a beat sheet. It's based on Blake Snyder. He actually passed away, I think, last this year or last year. It's a beat sheet of like the main points in the book. And I start with that. And then I put them on note cards. So I put all my ideas, like each idea goes on one note card. And I do my beat sheet, which is usually like 15 main beats. And then I basically fill out more detail from there until I have a really solid outline. I have inspiration boards which have tons of images that kind of give me the ideas of what the places look like. I'm really, really visual, so I need to have that. I need to be able to imagine the places, the details, not necessarily so much what the characters look like, but maybe what they would wear, things that they like, something they have in their room. It helps me kind of get in their head a lot more. I always draft on my laptop. Then when I get to revising, I have a combination. I do all kinds of crazy stuff. Sometimes I have a scene where my editor will write something like, this seems like it should happen sooner, or this doesn't seem like it's falling in the right place. This is out of order for me. So what I do is, for example, like this is one scene. So what I basically did was I took the whole scene and I cut it into chunks based on, not necessarily the paragraph, but like where a conversation ended, where there was an end of a kind of a conclusive moment. And I, this was actually, I mean, it didn't look like this. There was, it was in like 10 little piles. And then what's fun is once it's all cut up, you can move them around the same way you can with note cards. You can slide them around and like reread it and actually see where something could move and what all your choices are. And then once I make a choice, I take my little piece and I tape it on there. And then I just keep going until I get them all rearranged. As with most writers, by the time I have revised and rewritten the book, enough times for it to become the kind of book that you buy in the store or on the shelf or check out of your library, I've probably rewritten the book 50 times. So the one thing that I always tell people who want to write that's really important to remember is that the book that you check out of a library or that you buy looks nothing like the book that you know I write as a first draft. There are people who might write a pristine first draft, but that is not me. My first draft is a big mess that needs this to happen before you can get your hands on it.